If you want to get more confident with diesel particulate filter diagnostics, I'm Brendan Sorensen, the Technical Training Director for TAT. We've put together a webinar that's going to help you not just have the common faults, but learn what kind of data PIDs we should be looking at so we can let the car tell us what's wrong and how to fix it. If you want a little bit of a taster, so in the latest TAT article that I've put through on the latest magazine, we've got DPF Data Diagnostics. Have a read of that, It'll give you a bit of an idea of some of the things we're going to start to look at. This webinar that we're putting on, it's going to go in depth into that. So we want you to come out of the other end knowing what kind of um, algorithms are going on in the computer so that it gets these calculations for how the DPF system's working. And once you understand that, we can fix these things. So this webinar that we're putting on, it's going to be live and interactive. We're going to have me um, moderating it, so there's questions and answers all the time. A couple of dates that we've got out there. So Tuesday the 8th of June at 7 p.m. and Thursday the 24th of June at 5 p.m. to make it a little bit easier for our New Zealand friends. So the guys that are regional that can't always make it out to the training, you know, we've put this on, so this is a great opportunity to get some top class training. Uh, the TAT tech team has all had some input, so this is real world workshops putting in some real world data for the training. This isn't the kind of stuff you'll get from manufacturers, this is what's happening on the floor and what's actually fixing cars. So take a look at the links that you'll find in the description, click through to them and you can sign up and hopefully we'll see you Tuesday the 8th of June at 7pm or Thursday the 24th of June at 5pm. See you there guys. One that's extremely important I would say is if we move down to the DPF calculated soot mass and the DPF measured soot mass. Now we've got a calculated value and we've got a measured value. What does that mean, right? Are they not the same thing? Um, what are they trying to tell us there? So when we look at the calculated, um, that's basically taking into account all of the data that this, this ECU can take. So how many times have I started this car? How many kilometers have I traveled at this load? What temperatures were, were I at? You know, it's a very sophisticated algorithm to say, without actually looking at the pressure across the DPF, this is what I think we should have as far as an actual load of, of soot on this, on this DPF. Whereas when we look at the measured, um, we're, we're taking a real-time measurement basically at that point. So we're using that MAF, the exhaust gas temp sensors and the, the differential pressure sensor mainly. And we're going to take a real-time measurement across the DPF. Based on that, this is how much I actually have of soot loading when, when I measure it.